What is up my friends? You are very welcome along to tonight's Transfer News Roundup. I think the big question we've all got at the back of our minds is, is this endo signing going to be the end of Liverpool's summer transfer window? I don't believe so, and I'm going to try and spend the next 8-10 to 10 minutes telling you why I believe that to be the case. As always though, I want to know your thoughts in the comment section. Please do drop a like on the video, and if you can have a look up there in the top corner, you can see that our little community, our little Misfits family, have reached 200,000 subscribers, so I can't thank you all enough for your support but i hope you continue showing up and enjoying the content and i'll continue making it and let's see where we end up but look let's get stuck into tonight's news and so endo is in liverpool he's doing his medical he's passed his medical i believe at this point and he will be announced as a liverpool player his wages i'm not sure of but apparently he's on about 12 and a half grand at stuttgart a week so i would imagine he'd be a fairly uh, low end of our wage bill but the big question then is what's happening next because today you may or may not be aware one of our center back uh, linked players in Gonzalo Inacio has signed a new deal with Sporting Lisbon with a 60 million euro buyout clause increasing that from the 45 million euro clause that was there so I think we can say we're not going for him so I want to know do you think we're going to sign a center back because my gut feeling is I don't see I don't see where, I don't see who. And when you've brought in somebody like Endo who can play at centre-back, um, maybe Klopp feels with Joel Matip still being at the club, that we have enough options. Maybe he's seen a bit with Kwanzaa that impressed them in pre-season as well. So I'm not sure on the centre-back situation. And it's been very difficult to find uh, realistic links. You know, Colwell, I really believe we would have pushed the boat out for if... Chelsea been willing to sell, but he signed a new deal there. So I don't think there's anything there. But at centre midfield, there's a couple of things doing the rounds in the news. I looked at the bookies odds, which are always a good indicator of these things. And the most likely signing from what I'm reading and from reading between the lines is the core rate. And let me explain why I believe that to be the case. Not only because I know he's a player we've looked at, we've spoken about this, he's 23 years of age, uh, Palace's player of the season from what I've heard as well last year, and fits the profile of what we need. But you may also be aware that Olise signed a new deal at Crystal Palace today, rebuffing the interest of Chelsea. Now, that makes me more optimistic that Palace will be willing to sell Decore because they wouldn't want to lose a lot of players in this window particularly as the window's moving towards its conclusion so I think we may see Liverpool make this move for Decore I have no concrete information on it I'm working off my own gut feeling based off the stuff I'm seeing in the media and trying to put two and two together now I think that will probably be it if I'm being really honest but I'm okay with that if we brought in McAllister, Sobitzlai, Decore and Endo, that's a decent window. We still need to address the centre-back issue and I think Jurgen will do that next summer. But the reason I think that if we bring in Decore, that's the end of it is, there's a lot of stuff saying that Liverpool are very, very interested in Andre in January. Even so much as to say a £17 million fee has been mentioned in the media. There's been some stuff reported on the Brazilian side about this as well. And it makes sense with Thiago moving on next season. If you bring in Andre, then you've got Andre by Cecic. You'd have uh, Endo there. You would have Sobitzlai, McAllister, Jones, Elliot, um, Tyler Morton. You would have options. And the midfield would have an age refresh. So right now, it's just a countdown to the window shutting. And I think that Liverpool will probably get moving soon. It's a little bit scary because you think to yourself, well, with Endo being brought in, he can cover in all the positions we're in need of. And you think to yourself, does that mean that that's going to be the end of it? I really don't see so because they've showed us that we have money. And whatever else has happened, John W. Henry has told us and the world that Liverpool had the ability to spend £111 million. Now, we got some bonus money this summer from Jordan Henderson and Fabinho. So right now, Liverpool fans know that there's money there. And we need to go and spend that money because we need the reinforcements. I think the Corey may cost somewhere between 50 and 60 million. 
And I'm not going to be the one to say if he's worth that or not, but that's the market and that's what I expect Liverpool to pay. I'm not convinced on Ryan Gravenberch. I've seen more stories today linking Liverpool or Manchester United with them. And I've also seen stories that saying Bayern Madrid have no interest, or Bayern Madrid, Bayern Munich have no interest in selling. I don't believe that to be the case because no manager that's been there over the past year has really fancied the guy, really given him a run. So I don't want them. I just think there's too much of a risk involved there and it seems like a cheap option for me. Then we move on to Amrabat. And again, this one to me, from my reading of it, smacks of his side trying to engineer a move. All summer, people believed he was going to Manchester United. But with Harry Maguire, um, and I'm not sure if McTominay is still at United or not. I'm not paying that much attention to their business. But they have their own FFP concerns and they need to cut the cloth accordingly. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to get the money for Amrabat. And I don't know if we're being used in the media because everything I've seen saying Liverpool have reached out through intermediaries to get Amrabat. Somebody else has gone as far as to say that he's had a conversation with Klopp. So I heard that like in January that he had a conversation with Klopp. So I truly don't know. But I know which one I prefer. And it's the core right. I would much prefer Polina than any of them. But with Liverpool bringing in a 30-year-old, I think the likelihood of us bringing in somebody as 28 then is probably slim, particularly on the uh, amount of money that would be involved. So let's wait and see what happens. The Corre, Endo, McAllister and Sobosly is a good rebuild in midfield for me with Curtis Jones and Elliot and by Cechic and Thiago still at the club. Plenty of options then. So even with an injury or two, I think we'd be all right. Now there's a couple of other interesting points. Endo, I believe, is going to be away for the Asian Cup in the winter time and if we signed to Corre of course he could be uh, unavailable I think he'd be at Mali I think is his is, um, nationality so I think he'd be in the AFCON in January with with them but that makes the signing of Endo even more pleasing because it just then means we've got by Chechit there still and we just have cover and that's all I wanted in this window was not to not to see Liverpool have an injury or two and be in crisis again. Because we're all fed up of that. We've always been one injury away from a crisis. And right now, you could definitely make the argument that left-sided centre-back that we are one injury away from a crisis. I just feel Jurgen Klopp hasn't seen somebody that he thinks can do the job. Or maybe Kwanzaa has impressed him in pre-season. I don't know. But I, I'd be very surprised. Because as much as Klopp said he wanted to add a defender, where are the links? Where are the bids? It's weird. So that's where I'm at. My guess right now, and it is a guess, would be that we will see Liverpool make a play for Decore over the next two to three days. And I think we get him. But maybe there's another twist to turn in this because none of us, and I mean none of us, had a clue about Endo. Nobody. None of the journalists that I've spoken to, none of us fans, none of the media I've read. So let's wait and see if Liverpool have another surprise to pull out of the hat. But I do think there will be another, at least one player through the door before the transfer window shuts. So now it's over to you. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Do drop a like on the video. And of course, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do. And John W. Henry, we know you have the money, John. No more hiding it behind the sofa. It's time to spend and get Jurgen Klopp the players he needs. I'll catch up with you guys soon. Much love. Bye-bye.